Coming up in ViewCast, hear the creative way students and seniors are sharing decades of wisdom. See cool inventions by Vanderbilt engineering students that could improve healthcare. And our newest national champs. Hi, I'm Amy Wolf with ViewCast. Can you think of a special story from your grandparents or parents that's been passed down in your family? For some, time and distance make it challenging to learn from our elders. That's why a special immersion program here at Vanderbilt is so significant. In the hustle and bustle of daily life, where do we gain wisdom? That's me. That's you. In this unique Vanderbilt immersion program, senior citizens teach life lessons by preserving and sharing their personal histories. This makes me feel good. It just <laughs> gets down in here. The program is aptly called Wisdom of the Elders. It was also a, a humbling experience that I definitely value. It evolved from Professor Ifoma Wonkwo's Voices from Our America series. The idea is that knowledge does not only exist within the university. It exists in the minds and books of PhDs as well as in the minds of people who have lived for 85, 90 years. Digging deep into a sometimes painful past. You know, a lot of it was hardships and because life was so different then. Sharing through stories and art. Also showed the little cabin that I was born in. Uh, call it humble beginnings. I'm the firstborn of nine siblings. So life was kind of hard growing up, but it was fun too. They are innovators. They are teachers. They are learners. The very act of living for that long and having to deal with as many challenges as you do makes you the writer of multiple monographs. <laughs> Students Ariel Benjamin and Laura Woodwick are taking a special interest in the project. Ariel and other students travel to Murfreesboro, Tennessee to help collect and transcribe the women's stories. Well, I am a creative writer, so <laughs> I absolutely love stories. And helped bring the women here to Vanderbilt to share with students. Um, I also think it's just a, a great way to build community. Um, when you share stories, orally. It's just different. There's, I don't think there's anything that can replace the live interaction between people, which is why we wanted to bring the event here to get that going. I think the biggest thing I've learned, um, especially as a woman, is just like patience. And um, because they've survived so many different things in these lives, a lot of these women, you know, went through segregation and some issues like that, um, and just, you know, living in the South during the 60s and 70s. But through listening, the students say they found true bonds with these women. There's actually this one woman, Gracie Turner. She is um, the oldest of the women at the program here, but I connect with her the most, which is really funny. She's just very vibrant. Like she said she used to dance the, the jitterbug when she was younger, and like that completely encompasses her personality. And the students are embracing the importance of listening. Vanderbilt students can relate to always feeling like they have to know the answers or having to be outward or, you know, be on top of everything. And um, this project just gives you a chance to just sit back and really learn and soak in. Feels good. Feels good. And and they just love to, you know, they like to hear, you know, love to hear it. And some of them just sit there with tears in your eyes, you know. I like the setting that we have with the wisdom of the elders because that's what we do. We talk to each other. We help each other. You learn from them, they learn from you. Sharing a lifetime of experiences to help these young people become wise themselves. The goal is to make Wisdom of the Elders a model for communities across the country. You can learn more about the Voices from Our America program on VoicesAmerica.org. Congratulations to the NCAA Women's Tennis Champions, Vanderbilt Commodores. The Doors beat UCLA to take the number one spot. This is Vanderbilt's 21st consecutive tournament run and their first championship win. Another group of impressive Vanderbilt students is designing innovative ways to use technology to improve health care. ViewCast Zach Eagles shows us some of the inventions from Engineering Design Day. It's one of the most common birth defects in the U.S. One out of every thousand babies is born with a club foot. Treating it requires several trips to a doctor's office and multiple casts as a child grows. 
So what we have here is a model of a, uh, a club foot at a full deformity. Nathaniel Brayman's team streamlined that process. They designed a software program using pictures from a smartphone. Parents would take pictures of their child's leg and foot wearing a special sock with embedded markers. The software will extract that green marker there, leaving us with a line indicative of the curvature of the foot. From then on, we can translate that into a mapping of that curvature and calculate where we are in treatment. A cast could be remotely 3D printed for the parents, saving time and money. This was once a process that had to be um, taken by an extremely specialized physician. And so now by letting the parents kind of apl apply the cast themselves, we're putting more power in the hands of the parent. So this is the front of the knee. Uh, the knee socket that would go around uh, amputee's stump would fit on here. Liana Bunce demonstrates a mechanical knee used by some amputees. Her team made design changes they hope will solve the problems some active amputees have today. Currently on the market there are different knees that can accomplish running, walking, and biking, but there aren't any knees that address all three of those needs in one unit. So you can imagine with knees costing four to eight, eighty thousand dollars a piece if someone needs to purchase multiple knees for uh, their active lifestyle, then that could be really prohibitively expensive. While some insurance plans pay for one knee for an amputee, this team hopes their design provides an affordable alternative. We came up with um, health on wheels, and that's because we're tracking you know, health metrics for, for patients on wheelchairs. Using existing computer hardware, this team designed a system to remotely track vital signs of medically frail patients. We wanted to introduce this concept of remote health monitoring so that if your patients are wheelchair bounded, you know, or you know, you have, you know, a ward that is wheelchair bounded, they could still move around the house. Their team thinks this system can be used by caregivers to monitor patients down the hall or across the country. Learn more about the Vanderbilt School of Engineering at engineering.vanderbilt.edu. All of our 2015 graduates are ready to start their amazing futures. But we wanted to take one more look back at a great commencement with this VU social media mashup. That's right, VU, Vanderbilt University, right here in Nashville. Bellator's on the track. Keep telling us why Vanderbilt is special to you using hashtag MyVanderbilt. For ViewCast, I'm Amy Wolf.